is a free call from PK. An inmate at Fulton County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring, and your location information may be collected and used by corrections and law enforcement personnel. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Hello. Erica. Hmm. How you doing today? Not good. What's going on? What you not telling me? What's going on? I never knew when I woke up this morning that I would be tired of my. We're gonna call that forty-four seconds and for one minute. Is the voice that we just heard um, the voice of Walter Murphy? Yes. Okay. The male voice, yes. Thank you. The car was supposed to be on his way up there. To what, the jail? Yeah, to see what's going on. Like, well, like, I can have my baby. Well, like. Don't do it, please. I'm trying, but don't make me feel sad, bro. You said what? Saying don't make me break down crying here, bro. I'm not trying to, but like, this is why I asked you last night, like, Girl, or, like. Stay with you. I just stay with you. My God. I haven't touched you or nothing, and I didn't love me all. Like, we haven't had sex. I never think. And they told us shit happened four, five, month, three, four months ago, bro. Exactly, and then you just went to court. That's what I don't understand. Why didn't they lock you up then? Bro, they want me to tell, bro. Like, like I was with the folk, but, bro, I'm not. Like, bro, they already got me on camera and shit, bro. Like, I'm not going to shoot cold shit. I'm going to keep it 100. I'm going to tell you everything. So you, like, bro. Some money, I gotta get out of here, bro. That was if I was like, this gonna be my money. I don't care, bro. Whatever you was finna get, bro, you just not gonna be able to get, bro. Who like, the COVID? Yeah. Man. Like, that's nigga Jack Hunter. Like, he wanna fire him, bro. Don't tell me he said no shit to my nigga gonna be more money. More nah, he was just saying, like, you not gonna get a chance. He's like, what the fuck? Like, what what do BK got to do? What what is it? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him. I said I don't know because I don't know what's going on. Like I went back through my text message to see like what we've been talking about around that time, and that shit. All I think about is all I see is Pokey. So I don't know what you got going on because you ain't told me nothing. Like I told you when you come and visit. But I can't talk to you on the phone like that. And I'll write you. But, like, seriously, oh, um, I like, for real, bro? Who the fuck did I do to God? <laughs> oh, whoever, bro. Come on, man. Like, I should just listen to Bird, man. But the man sat and told me, bro, stay with me, nephew. I ain't nothing out there for you but trouble, bro. This man just sat there and told me, bro. I ain't nothing out there for you but trouble, nephew. Stay down here with me. And I ain't listen, bro. Now I'm about to have my son, and I'm not even going to see him get born. Like, come on, bro. This shit hurt me so bad. Like, I've been throwing up. I haven't ate all day. I got this, but I got the bubble gum and shit. But this shit is not right. It's like, I just feel, I just feel like this whole time was for nothing. Like, I, like I just, 
Oh, my child, Apple, they loved you. And then I just thought it out away for no reason, and I'm sorry. And it's like God knew this was going to happen to me because he just so like, you see how you pulled up? You see how that happened? Mm-hmm. And we talked, and then I'm like, nah, we ain't going down. And then I'm like, man, yeah, Sanjay made me change my mind and go get them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, who with you? Where you at? I mean, I'm outside of my house, but I'm just sitting in the car, bro. You need, you need to, I'm, I don't trust you right now to be by yourself, Erica. Like, bro, I know how you is, bro. You need to be, I need to talk to somebody who I know can watch over you and make sure that you're straight, bro. I don't want you to try to do nothing to yourself or nothing. I'm still here for you and everything. I don't need you to try to do nothing to my baby or none of it, bro. I need to. Talk to Jessica or this or somebody who can come over there and stay with you and give me their word that they're going to watch over you and him, bro. Because it's okay. Well, what am I going to do? Like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't make me say something that I'm going to regret. I don't know what you're going to do, Eric. I don't know. I can't even eat. It's like, me either, me either, me either, bro. But but I've been told you this last night, like, bro, like, that's what I was trying to tell you last night. Yeah. Like, we got to start a fundraiser or something. We got to give me some more money so I can get a better lawyer, bro. Because they got... Listen, they got me in the car with the people on camera, but they do not have the shooting on camera. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They got me in the car with the people on camera. They showed it to me on camera, but they do not have the actual shooting on camera. And the person is not dead. He's just like, he's like just brain dead. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She said he's going to have to have a metal plate put in his head and shit. That's what she was telling me. And they wanted me to tell. But, bro, you know what would happen if I do that, right? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to hear you say that. But so, like... I don't know, Rick. I don't know. I don't know. I've thought about everything. I've thought about everything. And I try everything. And I just need some help. help. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I thought about you. And then that shit just fucked up because I don't have nothing. Like, I don't have no type of nothing this time. Like, what do you mean? Like, I don't have no type of money. I don't have nothing, bro. Like, Okay, can't you got another phone right now? Mm-mm. You know I don't. I wish you just would have came up my house, came up, came home. I told you like, where it's not like that. I told you why everything went the way it went the other night because you're being disrespectful. Yeah. Like, and I, I told you that. I apologize, but my mom, right? It just, I'm sorry, bro. I listen. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. say the truth, bro. I listen to Dallas. I listened to my mama, really, and then Dalo like, bro, you know how girls are, because I've been through that, bro. I, I, I got quick, you see what I'm saying? She wasn't saying like you just intentionally doing it, but she she was saying like the same thing my mama was saying. My mama was saying like, bro, Erica just trying to get the point me to kick you out. Little, I'm like, and, and I was just listening to them when I said that, and that was wrong, but we can't fault nobody right now but me. You're right, but I'm saying, me and you is better than what everybody was saying. Like, you knew what you had done. You just be trying to make it seem like you beat me tripping, bro. Like, 
you knew like why I felt the way I felt and you knew what I was doing. Then nobody say, No, you can't come here or nothing like that. So I don't understand why you be trying to make it seem like us people didn't it be that and then you took all your clothes and stuff like that, like that shit really hurt my fucking feelings. Like that shit really hurt, like okay. if you don't want to go to this with me, bro. It's not that, and then, like, you ain't even called to see that I'm making home, okay, I did play, and I was just like, damn. Call me when you get home. I wanted to see what you gonna call. Oh, uh, this shit, but God knew that this was gonna happen to me, bro. I swear to God, you were trying to see what I gonna call, and I was trying to see what you gonna call, bro. Oh, God. I sat right there and waited, bro. Donald was asleep. And I, and I, I was watching the movie, and Dolly was asleep, bro. And I thought about it. I said, I should grab her phone. And I said, no, nah, Erica ain't call me, so why should I call her? Bro, that shit so fucked up. And, like, and, bro, even with Thug just getting locked up, like, Thug getting locked up, I'm like, damn. The only person I can think of. Because you all I got, like, bro, I ain't, to be honest, bro, ain't nobody finna be here for me, bro. I already know how this shit finna go, like. Either, either we're going to try to talk the thug and ask, just ask him, I'm just going to ask him straight up and down like start me a fundraiser, you know what I'm saying? Like, to really go on his page and start me a fundraiser, you know what I'm saying? And ask Dora or somebody like that, to really be over it or tour you know what I'm saying? Because that's the only way I'm going to get out. So you really think, like... You don't think you can get out no time soon? I don't want to go through this again, Erica, because I said I wasn't getting out last time when I got out, and I honestly thought I wasn't getting out. <clears throat> last time, and I did, so I can't say. Like, I can't say. I really hate, like... <laughs> Detective Gaither, was there anything that you wanted Walter Murphy to tell other than what the jury has already heard from the July 15, 2015 interview. Wanted him to tell as in regards to our investigation? Yes, um, in regards to the April shooting of Dexter Montgomery. Uh, I would have liked for him to tell the truth about uh, the other two occupants that were in the vehicle okay. with him when the shooting occurred. <laughs> And at any time, either on jail calls or in interviews or conversations with you outside of the interview room, uh, did Walter Murphy ever indicate that the people in the blue vehicle threatened him with harm? That's an answer. I stand the objection. <laughs> 